Alright, what's up guys? Kevin RK here, bringing you a quick tutorial today. Uh, this one comes to you by request of a um, comment that I answered on Facebook um, in a group that I was in. It was how to time stretch audio and logic. Uh, just like my last tutorial though, I'm going to show you how to do it in any DAW. So, um, the technique to get there is going to be a little bit different depending on the tools that your DAW has. Um, like how it works with stretched audio. But, um, I'm going to show you in two different DAWs and I'm sure that you can figure out how to do it in yours. If you have read the manual and know what the hell you're doing. So, um... How to stretch audio in any DAW. Step one, um, you need to know the BPM of the original song. I am using the vocal stem from Alone by Marshmallow just because everyone and their brother is using the vocal stem from Alone by Marshmallow right now. And I happen to know that the BPM is 142. So to find the BPM, um, you can like throw it in Tractor, DJ software, whatever. Or you can look it up on Beatport, which will also tell you what key it's in, which is handy if you're doing a remix. Um, so step one is set the tempo of your DAW to the original tempo of the song, which in this case is 142. And then step two is start slicing it up in eight bar segments. So in Logic, you use the marquee tool. Um, in Ableton, you just like consolidate the clips every eight bars. All right. So um, I'm just going to stretch the first vocal here part or vocal part here because the second one's the same now um in logic you want to move the clips away from each other um in other DAWs you might not have to but so let's set this to uh that's because if you speed it back down and they overlap some weird shit can happen so just now set it to the tempo that you want to stretch to come over here in logic you hold alt and click on the end and stretch it out to the eight bars it lags a little bit Come over here, stretch this out to the eight bars. Come over here. I don't know, see, I fucked that up. So this should be eight, hitting at the end of 16. Um, now come over here, and this should hit at the end of 24. So that's three times eight. All right, now if we listen, this is gonna be in time. So um, let me just explain that a little bit now that I showed you how to do it. The reason that you split it up in eight bar chunks is because depending on the original recording, um, the vocalist could speed up a little bit or slow down a little bit over the course of the take. Um, so if you split it up into eight bars and then stretch each of those eight bars out individually, you're way less likely to like fuck up the whole tempo of the song because um, the tempo changes throughout the take. Um, this way... Um, you're basically going to nail down the tempo for that 8 bar segment and it's going to match up with the tempo of the song um, when me and my friend originally started this remix together uh, we ran into this problem where we stretched this original like 24 bars here um, from the 142 down to uh, the 24 bars at 120 and then by the time we got to the vocal chops here in the third segment um, it was out of time with the rest of the song so um, yeah just, just make sure you chop it in eight bars. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Bitwig now too, which is the only other DAW that I have installed. So, throw this up to 142. Um, pull out your knife tool, or just consolidate the clips, whatever you feel like doing. Um, oh no, that's 16 bar segments. So hold up. <laughs> All right, now we're doing eight bars. All right, again, just trim this extra shit out. 
I'm just gonna consolidate each of these individually. This is how to do in Ableton too, by the way, because Bitwig and Ableton are basically the same. All right, now let's throw this down to 126. And uh, set these to stretch HD and stretch them out to the end of the bar. So stretch HD. Here. Line it up right. Stretch HD. And I'll line it up at the end of the bar. And now this is going to be in time as well. So yeah, like I said, um, you can do this in any DAW, um, as long as you know like the logic and reasoning behind what you're doing, um, you're set, man. You can use, or woman, you can use any DAW. <laughs> so um, drop a like, comment uh, what you want to see in future tutorials, uh, subscribe to me if you want. Um, my I Do Coke Remix has been getting some pretty sick feedback. Uh, pretty hype about how well that's being received so if you want to give that a listen it's down in the description um cheers my name is kevin rk thanks for watching and i hope you learned something useful today